What's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. Consider subscribing down below if you like what you're seeing here today and consider smashing that like button. It greatly helps on my channel. In today's video, we're going to be doing a product review. It's the X Technor HEPA filters for your Tesla Model 3 here. So just like the Model S, they already have built-in HEPA filters, but why not the Model 3? So I thought I'd give these guys a try here. Comes with two filters. Break this open. I don't know if you can see, but there's a bunch of activated uh, carbon charcoal particles inside of this HEPA filter. And then here's the front part, which will be facing the front of your Model 3. According to their website, X Techner, this will filter particles above 0.3 microns in about 30 minutes. And they are suggesting you replace these filters every 12,000 miles. It will go in your car just like this. Tabs are on the correct side. Before you start to go on Amazon and read the reviews of how bad it is, the manufacturer, X Techner, put this tab on the wrong side of the filter. So actually it was like this and the tab was over here. Uh, they mailed these out to me earlier and I addressed the issue to them because this white part needs to be facing the front part of the Model 3. So now they've fixed the issue. Tabs are on the correct part here. The only other manufacturer that I found that has Tesla Model 3 HEPA filters is Abstract Ocean that actually sells them for a whopping $100. So I was not wanting to spend $100 for my new filters for the Model 3, so I thought I'd give these guys a try here. They're only 40 bucks on Amazon. I'll put a link in the description below if you like it, but um, I'm gonna plop these in my car real quick and see if I can smell a difference in the air quality in my Model 3. All right, so I already have my panel off and I have this top panel off as well. If you don't know how to remove this panel here or this top panel, uh, refer to my first YouTube video. It goes into a more in-depth description on how to remove these panels here. And also this little uh, filter panel is held in by a Torx 20 screw here. And uh, I also have my Torx 20 uh, screwdriver as well. All right, so now that I have this panel here removed, I can remove my original stock uh, Tesla filters here. You just slide right out. There's one. And pull this tab on the second one, pull up and out. There's two. Now, since you already have these filters removed, it's a good idea to clean your uh, coils with this Coolit brand. You already have the panels ripped out. You already had the filters out. Give your evaporator coils a good cleaning to remove that mildew mold smell, and then we can replace our new filters in here. So I have my first type of filter here by X Techner. And notice the activated carbon goes towards the driver's side. Here's my uh, tab and then the white part faces the front part of the frunk. Here we are, same thing, let's just slide them into place. Push them on in. It's quite a snug fit. So I'm gonna use the end of my screwdriver just kind of push it down here there we go so the worst part is getting this first one in it's a very very tight fit so i just use the end of my torx 20 screwdriver and just kind of push it down in here you can see it's as you can hear it just tightening up against the side of the evaporator coils here but um, as long as this tab is right here it should be fine to pull out if all else fails I'm just gonna take when I want to remove these after 12,000 miles I'm just gonna pierce the filter here with my Torx 20 and pull it out that way but um, it's quite a challenge to get this bottom filter down into place I will forewarn you now we'll put in our second filter here make sure this tab is stuck Oh, there you go. I would just pull this bottom tab so it doesn't get in the way here and just kind of push this other one in. I'm assuming they have to be this fitting to make sure the air flows through the HEPA filter and nowhere else, but you can see both tabs are outward to remove them for uh, replacement later on. Now I'm going to turn on the AC to see if there's a difference in the smell and the air quality. So one other thing I want to show you guys, you may have seen in my previous video that I had a exterior coverlet filter. I'm going to pull off this tab here. 
Put this to the side. So I had this grill here so no debris can fall through uh, this opening. I'm just gonna remove this real quick. And this is the other filter I had in place, but because I had this filter and now the HEPA filter's in place, I personally feel the airflow restriction is too great. So I'm gonna actually just remove this now and I'm just gonna use my coverlet grill to prevent debris from falling into this massive hole here, like leaves and other uh, branches and such. So I'm just gonna put this on top. Okay, so now I just have the coverlet uh, in the front part of my Model 3, I removed the exterior filter. I just have now my HEPA filters in place, and I put some paper up here by the vents to show you how fast the air is flowing through the vents. But first, let's give it the smell test. I want to see if the air smells clean. I'm going to fire up the vents here. It's on auto. And wow, it, uh, it smells way cleaner, almost like hospital grade air it smells super clean all right now let's see if it restricts the airflow this is on auto so now let's put it to override to max of 10 So as you just saw, it does not restrict the airflow. You saw the paper blowing sky high. So just to show you guys about the airflow restriction I was referring to, I'm gonna put my exterior filter back on with my coverlet here. And let's go fire up the vents. All right, so now let's see the restriction of the airflow when I had the coverlet and the exterior vent with my HEPA filters in place. I still have my paper here. Let's fire up the vents. It's on auto. And now I can still see the paper is pretty much sitting there. It's barely doing anything. Let's fire it up to 10. Max of 10. And it's not going that fast, but it still blows the air, but Put this back to auto here so there's the restriction i was referring to with the exterior filter and the hepa filters i just think it's too great so i'm going to remove the exterior filter and just put my coverlet on top and keep the hepa filters in place because i did not see a restriction in airflow that way now that I have the uh, new HEPA filters in place, I'm going to put this panel back on, the top panel on. Again, I'm not going to really show you that because I've already done it in my other videos. So check out those other ones if you need to know how to put these back into place. So all in all, they were a little bit challenging to install them, especially the very bottom filter. Just use your Torx 20 screwdriver and just kind of push it down into its place. The tabs are now on the right side. I address it to them. So again, if you want to get these on Amazon, if you're reading the negative reviews, the tab is now on the right side. The white part faces is the front and the activated carbon faces the driver's side. Again, I immediately noticed a cleaner smell right when I turned on the AC. So hopefully this will last what they say 10 to 12,000 miles. My main concern is when I'm sitting behind a diesel truck at a stoplight, I don't want to smell any of them gas fumes. I might need to turn on the recirculation mode. But again, I'll keep you guys updated on the comments. Um, but overall for the price, $40 is not too bad compared to the abstract ocean ones that are over $100. As I mentioned before, since you're already going in there, you're removing your old filters, maybe give it your coils a good clean so it's ready for the summertime. I know a lot of Model 3s have had the AC smell. Um, again, get that uh, Coolit brand box like I showed you before. I'll post a link for that as well down in the description. If you found this video informative, go ahead and smash that like button and consider subscribing down below if you haven't already. Until the next video, guys, have a good one. Later.